con, con Juana, pero no han venido. Oh, sí, no, 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 no han llegado aquí. Tengo a la casa.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the graduation commencement ceremony of the graduating class of 2006. Day and ask, what's the meaning of life? 
I'm very excited and joking. I now have to say, well, it was you guys that taught it to me. They weren't afraid to be kids, to be young, which means to be able to make mistakes and ask questions about them, to be able to take the pleasure life offers in the moment it is given. As graduating seniors, can we say the same? Have we taken the pleasure in life and stay true to our young spirit? The stage of our lives is almost over, and in the words of Walt Whitman, Oh Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. Now we embark on a new adventure, but will we embark on it acting older than we are? Or staying true to ourselves? To the senior class, all the captains whose beating hearts drum the music of hope, I ask that we work to stay forever young because you allows us to see the bright side of life and not get drowned in worries. After all, though high school will be nothing more than a memory, we would not have been the same without it. We would not have met the same people and friends we hold so dear. And I'll always remember the class of 2006 as Valiant Knights, superheroes, some Batman, Superman, perhaps even Spider-Man. No, we were much more than superheroes. We were teenagers finding out about ourselves. And as a retired teacher told me this year, seize the day, carpe diem, just don't squeeze the life out of it. To all the seniors, I hope you've had the time of your life. We will stay forever young in spirit. Oh, captains, my captains, life is ready to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the senior class of Cupertino High School. Rock on! Many of you have different responses to this question, but I believe we all agree that high school was, among other things, memorable. And though each of us has had different experiences, we have also undergone similar goals. For example, class of 2006, do you remember dressing up in tights and wigs for a reenactment of Romeo and Juliet? Do you remember those all-nighters we called? The joy and horror of AIM, Zanga, and MySpace? <laughs> Perhaps you recall those lunches slated for Starbucks. Happy You remember the first. The first time you ditched class and got a call from <laughs> The first time you drove. The first time you fell asleep in class. Or the first time you attended. 
attended a formal dance. And how can we forget the first time we heard Mr. Hormatz's turtle story? Some of us recall long, sweaty practices after school on this field, in the weight room, and on the track. We remember the figures of Elgood, Gilmore, West, Clarkson, Manny, and Kelly, each demanding us to work harder and run faster. There were times we shined, and some of us indeed became shining stars on stage for the fall play, spring musical, comedy sports, or choir. With Miss Conrad and Mr. Aaron directing, we remember getting past those initial butterflies in our stomach to slip into character or to reach that higher pitch. And to play that perfect pitch, some of us practiced for hours in band, while only steps away from the flourish of our school. Painted and designed letters, sketchbooks, and pictures. But there were other kinds of artists as well. There were star debaters, map women, and business leaders who made Club Day special and really yummy. Of course, Club Day dances and rallies couldn't have been possible without ASB or class council. And we who were part of that must remember how proud we felt after a successful event. But there are some things I'm sorry, we'd rather forget. Almost. There were times we were burnt out, um, but now I see how important it is when we resist the high odds to find the strength within ourselves to keep moving forward. Your development as an individual. I'm confident that we have gained insights about ourselves and about others that we hadn't known before. Yes, all of us made mistakes. We procrastinated, we let opportunities slip by, and sometimes we hurt our own loved ones. Yet, I believe every mistake we made only served to build our characters. Both mishaps and accomplishments, we've discovered our strengths and our weaknesses. We have been inspired to explore those uncertainties, to challenge those notions of impossibility, and to discover a sense of direction. Through our struggles and achievements, our missteps and the lessons learned, our friendships lost and retrieved, I firmly believe that each individual in this class is prepared to start a new and exciting chapter of his or her life. Parents, teachers, administration, and most of all, class of 2006, I congratulate you and I wish you the best of luck in all your endeavors. Thank you. Greetings to everyone. This is going to be a little difficult because I've got speaking to all of you behind me, beside of me, in front of me, and also into the sun. I'm really honored to be here to speak to you on this wonderful occasion. It's a thrill to see so many family and friends out this evening, and I want to offer a special thank you to those of you who came so far to see your graduates today. Since becoming four, superintendent four years ago, I've shared a special message with each graduating class 
Because I think we ought to make the graduates to inspire you to do great things in your beliefs. And since our, 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 grad, our graduations happen all at the same time, concurrently, I'm like a comet. I only get around uh, once every five years. So if you have a, uh, an eighth year this year, I will see you in five years. I know that the other speakers that are up here are we're vying for your attention at this moment. So for you guys back behind me, it's okay. You, you don't have to take notes. It's not part of the high school exit exam. Thank goodness. I do want to begin by saying how gratifying it is to know how prized this school is in the eyes of the Cupertino community and the entire school district. Cupertino High School is among the select schools in the state regarding grades, test scores, sports, music, extracurricular uh, accomplishments, and of course its graduates. However, just as a house is not a home, this school is more than a place. Cupertino High is far more than an institution breaking up impressive transcripts, diplomas, and graduates. Cupertino High is a legendary community where lives are changed on a daily basis. There are hundreds of stories sitting behind me and before you. The telltales of how someone at, at this school made a difference in their lives. It may have been a teacher, a secretary, a counselor, a custodian, a coach, a classmate, or even a principal. Students, I ask you to take a brief moment to think of the one special person who has made a difference in your life while here. If they're here today, be sure before you leave to thank them. We never know, in a simple act of uh, kindness and thanks, uh, what a difference that might make in their life. As you know, there is no special obligation to make this world a different place or to make a difference in someone else's life. And there are a few road signs telling you how or when an important choice must be made. Occasionally, the hand of fate may lead you to that choice, rescuing someone from an accident, giving a kidney to a relative, even fighting a terrorist on an airplane. But most often, the opportunity to make a difference is not so dramatic, not so important. Finding compassion in a single moment of anger, looking for compromise in the face of adversity, loving without calculating the return on your gift. These are opportunities to make a difference by being there. The teachers, fathers, mothers, and grandparents watching you graduate today, students, uh, will tell you there's a lot of time ahead of you to have fun, to enjoy life, to make mistakes, to create your own reality, and surprise yourself who you turn out to be. They will also tell you that this great abundance of time flows so very, very quickly. I want to thank all the moms and dads who gave so much of themselves and to our school in getting your son or daughter here in one piece today. Some of you probably didn't think it would happen either. Uh, following up today's ceremony, you can look forward to becoming a school in the eyes of your kids. What a relief. Regrettably but understandably, we know that your children will for a while continue to believe that your bank account is endless and you really do want them to live with you forever. Or at least until they become the next American Idol. We must be tolerant of these youthful uh, delusions. I'm sure uh, we adults would all love to cling to our own adult fantasy. The IRS is our friends. We all lose weight by just thinking about it. And we look just as good as we did in 1996. But to show you that even the wildest dreams, pay attention, please, that the wildest dreams can come true. I was today in my, uh, my computer looking at a graduation speech I wrote years ago for homeschool high school's graduation. In that speech, I shared my pathetically impossible dream by saying, and I quote, In fact, I am convinced that Sharon Stone will be whisking me away in a private limo immediately after the ceremony. A complete fantasy, right? Well, I hate to brag, but I will. Notwithstanding the limo, I actually am having dinner with Sharon Stone tomorrow night in Los Angeles. Really and truly, I am. Just because there's another 200 people with me at the time is not going to get in my way into having a conversation. They're just a distraction anyway. So, see, anything is possible even for superintendents. Let me conclude by saying what many graduation speeches often do. We remind our graduates that some parts of the adult world that you're about to enter are not pretty. And it is pointed as an adult to know that my generation 
hands to your generation. And the one we inherited. None of us have the complete answers to these big problems. Problems of disease, problems of poverty. But I am a believer that we can each begin to solve the big problems in small and important ways. Only when each of us finds the courage to take risks, keep dreams alive, and act as leaders do. Being a leader means walking the path that others choose. Being a leader means saying, I can't, rather than asking, what happens if I don't? Being a leader means believing you can make a difference by being fearless, creative, and intentional. It is my wish uh, to all the students, <laughs> each find the okay. inspiration to become leaders in whatever you do, wherever you are. It is a big deal. It's a very big deal. The world depends on you to make a difference. In closing, I congratulate each of the graduates, all of you, for your hard work and great success. We're also very proud of you. Enjoy this moment. There will never be another day like today. Many thanks to you all and good luck. ¿Qué pasa con tu pasión conmigo? ¿Qué pasa con tu pasión conmigo? ¿Qué pasa con tu pasión conmigo?